time for this week's first Targets in Focus interview. I'm Natty MacDonald and joining me today to discuss his market predictions is James Kwok, Head of Currency Management at Amundi Asset Management, talking to us today from London. Welcome to Ducoscopy, James. Today we're going to start with the Euro Pound Sterling. The pound advanced this morning ahead of the Bank of England minutes and the updated UK budget. The BOE retained its quantitative easing unchanged at £325 billion. How does this impact your short, mid and long term predictions for the euro pound? I think the euro pound is quite tricky because both the euro zone and UK economy are weak and the fiscal manoeuvre is very limited. So both rely on the expansionary monetary policy. Um, as there is still a uh, substantial short euro position held for uh, hedging the euro crisis last year, further unwinding of this position may see the euro sterling to continue to rebound back to 85 in a month. Being the largest export market for the UK, it will be difficult to see a sustainable recovery in the UK without a better shape uh, of the eurozone economy. Therefore, uh, the euro sterling should be confined in a range between 80 and 85. Uh, given the substantial undervaluation of the sterling, uh, the euro sterling may drift back to 84 in three months' time, and then I would say uh, 81 in, in 12 months' time. The dollar posted its first gain this morning after a three-day decline, with the yen itself currently in a freefall and performance hinged on this week's US economic data. Can you please talk us through your predictions for the dollar yen over the one, three and 12-month period? We have already seen a lot of bad news on the yen. So we have the trade deficit, we have the quantitative easing from the Bank of Japan, the rising oil price. But after an almost non-stop, it big figures movement over the past few weeks and investors are now holding large short position on the yen so we may expect some consolidation in the mid, uh, in the short term um, but given currently the very strong rise in the US bond yield because the US economic data are getting better and better the pullback should be limited to 82 where we see the dollar yen should be trading in one month's time uh, in three months' time, uh, the continued widening of the yield spread between the U.S. and the Japan should drift the dollar yen above 85. Then we will expect more uh, Japanese foreign direct investment outflow to further correct the overvaluation of the yen. Um, by the end of the 12 months' time, we may expect something, something up to 89 level. Targets for the euro are beginning to strengthen as fears over the eurozone subside for now. The Swiss franc has been performing well against the dollar, pound and yen this week, but what are your expectations for the Swiss franc against the euro given this new eurozone outlook? Switzerland has a very strong current account surplus because of the goods export and the very strong growth in the export market is not in the euro zone but in the emerging market because Switzerland sells a lot of high quality uh, products, for example, watch, for example, medical equipment. And that's why uh, Switzerland so far is not uh, suffering from the real zone uh, crisis. But I think there's a time lag because Switzerland still exports something to, to, the, to the neighboring country like France, Germany, and Italy. There may be a time lag, but Switzerland will suffer from last year's Eurozone crisis with some time lag. So that's why we expect that the Euro Swiss should correct back to at least 135 in 12 months' time. I think the Swiss franc is at a ridiculously expensive level and is bound to correct itself. However, the huge current account surplus, more than 10% of the GDP, is still acting as a very strong obstacle for this correction to happen. As we expect, the situation in the Euro zone will stabilize this year, so we expect the Euro Swiss to move back to 123 in a month, then 125 in three months' time, or 126, and eventually back to 135 in 12 months' time. Thank you, James. That's all we've got time for right now, but stay tuned for all of your updates, analysis and exclusive interviews. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Targets in Focus interview. Goodbye.